Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Jared. The most exciting part of this project is finally here, and that is fruiting conditions. So the lion's mane, we already went through grain spawn, we did a spawn to spawn transfer, we built the fruiting block, we've been letting the fruiting block sit and colonize, and now, believe it or not, it's making some fruits. So all this hard work is finally paying off. I'm really excited to show you the fruiting process, how we got it into fruiting conditions, and then at the end I'll throw in a bunch of pictures of some really cool looking fruits. So I hope you all enjoy and let's get right to the video. If you haven't watched how I made the grain spawn or how I made the fruiting block for this lion's mane project, go back and check those videos out. And it's actually kind of fun to watch the lion's mane colonize grain spawn. It colonizes a lot differently than other species. By day six, you can see the fruiting block is colonizing quite nicely. Hey, what's up? So the lion's mane is starting to fruit. It's been, today's the 31st and on the 23rd, I put the lion's mane onto the fruiting block. Um, so it's been just over a week and I'm already getting fruits on it. So it's not fully colonized. Um, you know, it doesn't look to be fully colonized, but from what I've read, lion's mane likes to try to fruit before it's fully colonized. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this into fruiting conditions um, and I'll show you here in a second some of the fruits that it's already starting to pop off. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, they're just, it's basically like the entire thing is turning into fruits. So I'll give you a quick look around everything. Like, I mean, this doesn't look fully colonized to me, but I mean, it's freaking, it's fruiting. So sorry, it's not the best shot with the glare from the light there, but yeah, I don't know guys. I think, uh, I think it's ready to, to go into a tub and fruit. Let's get this thing growing some fruits, huh? Not many materials are needed to get this into fruiting conditions. So we're just gonna have a scalpel and some tape. I started by cutting a small hole in the top of the bag and pushing all the air out of it and then folding the bag down around the block and I try to fold it pretty tightly. This is to try to promote the fruit to grow outside the bag and not inside the bag. I'm using micropore tape here and honestly, I wouldn't use this again. It doesn't stick very well, especially when it gets moist. It seems like it sticks fine. After about a day in the fruiting chamber, it ended up just falling off. So if we go back to the principles of what is going to cause fruiting, a reduction in CO2 and an increase in fresh air are kind of the big things that we're looking for here. So by expelling all the CO2 out of the bag and then putting the block in the fruiting chamber, we're gonna expose it to fresh air. And then we're gonna also try to maintain humidity inside the fruiting chamber, which is going to be another one of those things that we're looking for to establish fruits. So I'm using a monotub for this, and honestly, there's probably a lot better ways to do it, but I don't have any better ways right now. So we're just gonna use a monotub, and I'm covering each hole with a single layer of micropore tape. And you'll see later on that I'm gonna change my idea about this micropore tape, but just stick around to the end and I can show you why. You guys, if you haven't bought a scalpel yet, it's actually a pretty good investment. I've been using the scalpel quite a bit. One thing you're gonna need with the scalpel is a little pair of pliers to put the blades on and take them off. I didn't know that at the time, and so I'm just using some big, crappy, clunky pliers that I got out in the shop. So I'm putting perlite in the bottom and you just need a thin layer of perlite and then I'm adding water to the perlite. Perlite's gonna soak up the water and then it's gonna help maintain humidity inside the monotub. And I made it a little bit too wet so I just added some more perlite on top of it and mixed it around until I felt like it was a good moisture content. I don't have an exact number here for your ratio of water to perlite. Just go until you don't have pooling water, uh, but you also want it to be pretty moist. I mean, essentially we're going to field capacity with the perlite. Uh, if we were to pick up a handful, we don't want it to be raining water off. And then I put the fruiting block into the monotub here, and I'm just gonna cut four holes, uh, four X-shaped holes into the bag. And I'm doing four holes to try to promote smaller fruits. 
So more fruits, but smaller fruits. And I don't know if this is gonna produce more fruit overall, like a larger mass of fruits, but that's my idea and we'll see if it works. So here we are three days after I cut the holes in the bag and put it into fruiting conditions and you can see the fruits are turning out quite nicely. They're still pretty small, but they look pretty good. Um, the one thing is I noticed, and it's not as obvious on camera, but with my naked eye, I noticed that the fruits are slightly yellow, which is indicative of maybe too much fresh air. So I added a second layer of tape to the bottom holes and that's going to restrict the amount of fresh air coming in. I don't want to tape up the top holes anymore because I still want gas exchange to happen very freely. It seems like we're getting enough CO2 out, just too much air in. So my idea is putting a second layer of micropore tape on the bottom should help with that. All right, so a few hours later, you can see that the moisture is starting to build up inside the container. Before, the walls were completely clean, and that seemed to tell me that there was too much fresh air and moisture was not being maintained inside the monotone. All right, I hope you guys liked the video, and stay tuned for the last video. So I'm gonna do one more video on harvesting the fruit, and then I will publish a start to finish, and I'm gonna try to do it in under 10 minutes. So stay tuned for those two things. Alright guys, much love. See you around next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.